So yeah, it's arrived. It's here. I've been having tons of fun with it. It's a new ChatGPT plugin. It's free to use. You can do customizations. I've created a whole SEO program off of this to make your life easier. So many people are like, hey, Jess, I can't afford Ahrefs. I can't afford your expensive tools. What can I do? Well, follow this video. I'm going to show you exactly what you can do now. Everything is made so easy. You can start today. So the tool is harpa.ai. It's like a Swiss army knife. This thing is insane. It does all of these things. I'm going to show you in the video um, privacy by design because it's on your local computer. It's cool. And this is what the plugin looks like over here, but we're going to get into it. Let's do an example. So conventionally for keyword research, you have to use tools like Ahrefs, SEMrush to really do a great job. But now with this tool, we can do some custom things. Let me show you. So let's say you're new at SEO and you, you're thinking, I have a, a website on watches and I want to, you know, the best types of watches that are cheap and it comes up with all these searches. Great. Well, I have, and I'll, I'll, I'll link this in, in the description, right? I have a custom workflow down here. What we're able to do, check this out. I have two right here, keyword SERP extraction and keyword LSI extraction. All I have to do is click this button and we're off to the races. See what it's doing here? So the first thing is it compiles all the keywords um, <clears throat> into, well, well, let's back up. First, it grabs all the SERP results, the titles, and then it grabs all the keywords of those titles. It's doing it right now as we speak. And then here's the fun part. It's going to create a table and it's going to show us exactly which of these keywords were mentioned the most. And because of this, all of a sudden, we get the intent of the user. That's the gold. If you know what people are searching, right, and how websites are serving them, you are ahead of the pack. So as you can see here, affordable watches is the number one thing you should be talking about in this search, right? The second thing is best affordable watch brands. So those are two different things, two different search intents, but you can combine them to have a better chance at ranking than everyone else. All of a sudden, you have everything. You have everything you need. So let's try it on a different example. So here we go. We did something different. The top 10 ways to cook a steak. All right. We are working. It's cooking right now. So the best steak cooking methods ranked. Great. So it grabbed all the titles. Now it's grabbing all of the keywords. Love it. And remember, we're going to do the LSI extraction next on this example. But let's see how it does. Let's see what the similarities are. So here it goes. This is the similarities. Cooking steak, perfect steak, best steak cooking methods. Okay, so perfect steak and cooking steak. That's that's it right there. So as you can see, cooking steak, is there anything else? No, that's it. So you know that in your title, you would be silly not to have cooking steak and perfect steak. Figure out a way to have that in your title because that's the most common. And as you can see here, as we scroll down, top 10 tips for cooking a perfect steak. Let's see if it shows up again. Perfect steak. So, of course, you can go here and you can use your eyeballs and figure it out, but we can do it in five seconds, right? And then we can do something even cooler. So, let's do the LSI extraction now. <clears throat> so, basically, what this is going to do, it's going to take kind of tangential keywords. It's going to kind of use its brain, because this is built upon ChatGPT. It's going to use its model and figure out what else might be relevant for this topic. Because if we can talk about this better than everyone else, then we're going to rank better than everyone else. So let's see what it's going to do. So LSI consistencies, steak cooking, steak recipes, cooking methods, keywords, steak cooking methods. So this takes a little bit longer because it's a little more um, involved. And remember, I'll have these um, descriptions um, for the prompts for Harpa AI in the description um, of the video. So steak cooking, cooking methods, perfect steak. So all of a sudden, we have a bundle of words that we should be using throughout the article and for the page titles. Okay, let's do another search result. The top places to live in Hawaii. Perfect. What is the number one search result? Let's go to an actual page. So now we did the general SEO. We have keywords. We know how we can do that now, how to make page titles, how to make LSIs. But what about on-page SEO? How can we figure out how Island Luxury or Isle Luxury is number one. So go to Harpa. They have built-in tools in Harpa. So look here, scroll down to the right. You're going to see these bullseyes. All of these are SEO tools, all of them. Um, so audit and improve. Let's do SEO audit or leave blank. So it says enter your SEO content, article content, or leave blank to parse from the page. So let's hit enter. 
It's going to extract um, everything from the page. It's going to give us an idea how we could do better. If this was our website, here's how you could do better. But we can flip that on its head and say, well, they're not doing this good. Let's just do that. Um, so here we go. The page contains info on the best places to live in Hawaii, but the content lacks detail and is poorly organized. Okay. It's relevant, but it lacks EEAT. The content should be organized better. Actionable suggestions for improving the content. Add more info about each of the five best places, including local amenities, real estate. It's given us the playbook. It's given us the playbook. It's amazing. How hard is this? This isn't hard at all. Your lives have been changed. My life has been changed. Include testimonials from current residents, EEAT. These suggestions are on point too, right? Incredible. Tips on how to match search intent and user expectations. This tool is incredible. Uh, use keywords that reflect the user's search intent, such as the best places to live in Hawaii or top communities in Hawaii. Provide more specific info on each. All right, we get the point. It's insane. All right, so let's go a step further, right? Let's just do another one. So this is the extract and research SEO keywords. Um, all we have to do is press enter. We're on the page. This is a bit different than what we were doing before with the page titles. I had to make a customization for that. But this looks at the page and figures out what are the densities of specific words. This matters a lot. If you're getting into technical and theoretical SEO, if you want to get really, really sharpened up on this stuff, this is how you do it. Because now all of a sudden you know I need best places a lot. Um, and then the LSI keywords, the tangentially um, relevant keywords, right? Um, top communities, upscale communities, you can add these in to kind of tie in. And you can probably um, do internal links out. So Hawaii, obviously, but best places in Hawaii and Honolulu being the capital, uh, real estate. Uh, it gives you a clear idea, livability, luxury real estate, super clear idea on what you need, the exact words that need to be peppered in to your article. So let's go a bit further. Let's do one more. Let's do topical authority. Create a table with article ideas to help build topical authority. So we're going to say, well, we want to have, you know, top places to live in Hawaii. And we're going to compare it with our previous prompt. We're going to take this. Let's see what it can do. Best neighborhoods in Ho uh, Honolulu. Description. Keywords. Good. How to find the perfect home in Hawaii. Life on Maui. Best beach towns in Hawaii. Very nice. Moving to Hawaii. What you need to know. That's really, really good. Okay, with that, you kind of have a topical cluster. It gave you a mini topical cluster. So what you could do, you could take these five. Listen to me, listen to me. This is important. This is really important. You could take these five right out of the box, right? This is free. You could probably use a free ChatGPT um, subscription for this. Take these five, write these five articles as well, and point them to the top places to live in Hawaii. And all of a sudden, you have topical relevance, authority, you have a content hub, a mini content hub, albeit, but it's still better than what most people are doing. All right, let's keep rolling with it. Let's keep rolling with it. Here we go. Let's go to keyword cluster. Where is it at? Keyword cluster. Let's find it. This, this is nice. Um, you can either paste something in here or just say extract from the page. And this is going to give us even more of a clear idea of what we have to write about in our article to compete, right? So it's saying the best places to live in Hawaii, Honolulu, Kahala, Wai, uh, uh, Wailea, Lahaina, etc. Um, lifestyle in Hawaii, you need to talk about the amenities, livability, safety, and local flavor. Uh, tourist attractions, of course, in Hawaii, right? Beaches, outdoor rec. And then it's going to do real estate so people may want to look to buy. And I bet that's how these websites, a lot of them, are monetizing their websites. If you want to buy in Hawaii, click this link to a realtor and then they get a referral fee. right? But this here, and it's still going. Local business in Hawaii, dining, water activities, relocation, celebrities. Look, it gave you yet again, it gave you the playbook. So this next portion I'm going to roll through pretty quick. Uh, so this is Ahrefs, uh, type in Hawaii. And listen, if you want any more information on this, check out my masterclass. But Type in uh, matching terms, lowest DR is up to 15 in the top five, and we grab all these keywords that, look, the green is good. That means we can probably rank for these things. We grab them. We push them to ChatGPT. We say, parse these out into column or uh, into paragraph form with comma separated, and then we go to our cool tool. Silo website structure. All right. It says, enter a comma separated list of keywords, and we know we can rank for these, right? We did quick keyword research, and it spits out topical hub. It, I mean, this is the tier one article, tier two, tier three, tier two, tier three, three, three. It goes down. Hawaii pictures, pictures of Hawaii, 
uh, Hawaii zip codes. Look, it took all 50 of them. Hawaii education. And all of a sudden, you have a website structure that you could begin building right now. You can become the expert in Hawaii or whatever your thing is with different topics that you know you can rank for using this tool. There's so many more things we could talk about. I mean, look at all these. There's there's over a hundred. But what I'm going to be doing is, is kind of creating custom things. I'm going to be shooting them out in the newsletter. So check that out. Go to jessecunninghamseo.com. Just sign up for the newsletter. And um, yeah, hope this was helpful and I'll check you on the next one.